Black family, our favorite non-FBA person is back. Let's go and uh, debunk all this nonsense and check this broad. Black Americans think that they are better than African people. And this is essentially my understanding from the thousands of comments that they have sent because they didn't like the fact that I, an African, call them colonizers. You know, at first I thought that the word might actually be harsh, but they themselves provided in writing the proof that that was the perfect word. The one thing that they've kept on reiterating is the fact that we don't think about you Africans, but you're always thinking about us Black Americans. And this is because they inherently believe that they are superior to African people that's why they don't have to we don't think that y'all do but if we was to sit down and watch the numbers bear out we don't have a term for flea africans do particularly nigerians called japa j-a-p-a -A, which means to flee there's a song and they have a dance we ain't never did no it's like that but Proceed. Think about the struggles of African people in Africa because why would you care about someone you consider to be inferior to you? They continue to reiterate this when they. Okay, yeah, I'm saying I have to pause, do this broad nonsense a lot. Ma'am, y'all don't care about the struggles in Africa. That's why y'all come over here where you struggle less. Benefits we fought for that we mistakenly and foolishly said, you know what? Man, come on, man, come come eat. That's one thing I think is our one of our greatest attributes is also one of our greatest flaws. We're too busy to extend the olive branch, put the arm around. I mean, come eat with us, man. If we let people in who have ulterior motives, we gotta stop doing that. We we have to check people at the door, family. We've done it for so long. We we looking up. We're like, man, hey, hey, buddy. Did Buddy make off my wallet? Why'd you let Buddy in? Did you vet Buddy? Or you saw Melanie and was like, man, come on, man. They got to know. Nah. All they know is the first chance they get, they're going to flee. 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 In a tube, a marriage, something strange, for a piece of change. <laughs> bed winching, bed bucking, however they got to do it. They're going to flee one way or another, but continue. We talk about why don't you focus on the colonization that is happening in your own country, on the oppression that you're facing in your own countries, doubling down, talking about how Africans are weak. And it really makes me wonder because all these issues they're bringing up, they're actually a function of systemic colonization. But I don't. Ma'am, y'all the majority. That would make sense if we all were the minority on your own continent, in your own country. You're the majority. Y'all are bashed each other's heads in because one's Hufa Fulani, one's Tutsi, one's Zulu. Y'all y'all quick to bash each other's head in or leave each other for dead if you're not in the same tribe. And y'all let these white folk come over, y'all treat them like they're gods. You let the Asians come over, which is the newest colonizer. They soft colonizing. You got your women bedwinching. They leaving them with kids, leaving the kids there, going back home. So they can come back and tell the kids, oh, yeah, this is the reason why I wasn't in your life. Your mom did it, so fault. But hey, that land. Daddy need that land. And so they can build factories. That's what they're going to do. Build factories. Take all your resources. Now, instead of the white folk doing it, it's white folk and Asians. That's that's why we say, hey, y'all not batting at nothing. And shout out to the riders who live back in their homeland. And they're trying to fight like the Julius Millennials. Um, what I think is Burkina Faso has gotten buck. Shout out to all the countries, the African nations that are saying, hey, yeah, we finna get buck. It's high time we do something. It's the new generation coming in saying, yeah, now nah, forget all that. We finna get buck. I'm not trying to have a peaceful death. I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees. Shout out to them. But you, they come over here and you try to talk down on us and talk and wag your finger and all that stuff. And you're colonizers. Nah, we ain't, we ain't doing it no more. We ain't having it no more. We would not have it. <laughs> I don't understand why you want to blame Africans for systemic colonization, yet. Because y'all got greater numbers and you can fight back. 
We fight back. Anyway, keep talking. Your own American country, you're able to understand that black people are not responsible for systemic racism, rather they are victims of it. And when you yes, we do understand that. However, we couple that with fighting back, ma'am. We couple that with fighting back, family. We fight back. We fight back. We don't flee away. We fight back. So, family, let me know if there needs to be a shirt. Fight back over. Fight back over flee away. Yeah, put it in the comments. What y'all want to highlight should read? We fight back, not flee away. Or, or that's that's not clever enough. The FBA family, help me help me think. Help me think of the uh, fight back. Fight fight back over flee away. Fight back or over fleeing. Something like that. Let me know in the comments. Talk about how we should just focus on trying to put our countries right. That is exactly what we have been doing. But of course, because you don't care about African people and our struggles, you wouldn't. It's not that we don't care. We just got to focus on us. We focus on everyone else and we've caked for everyone else. We beat the drum and basically have been the battering ram for everyone else. We're tired. We're, we're exhausted. I like it to. You have a neighborhood with houses, and every nation is on the same street. And we've helped put a fence over there for the, for the Asians. We've helped re-roof the white folks' house. We've helped manicure the lawns for the uh, Africans and so forth and so on. We've just helped everyone's properties get up to par. You know, the Latinos, we, we helped them with the plumbing. We've done all these things. Now it's time for our house. We need our roof done. We need our plumbing done. We need our lawn manicure. We need our fence re-erected. We need all these things on our house. We're super tired. We're looking to these other groups like, hey, we've helped you. They're like, Ugh. And then they close the door. Like, hey, that's your problem. And so we're saying, you know what? You're right. This is our problem. And whatever else happens on your yard, in your home, is your problem. And it's not, we're not mad at you. We finally understand. Wouldn't know that. You don't even care to know how you're benefiting from what your government is doing to African countries, especially when it comes to black Americans who live with this victim mentality and they think that the entire world should give apology to them for what they've been through. No, man, we don't think the entire world owes us an apology. We know the United States government who allowed chattel slavery, who upheld chattel slavery, owes foundational black Americans only, only foundational black Americans reparations so we can be repaired. And that's just for chattel slavery. We mentioned Tulsa, Greenwood, mentioned Rosewood, mentioned Seneca Village, mentioned all of these black enclaves where y'all white folks said they don't want to see us. We were together. And we kept building and we built up and did great. And there was eminent domain. Though there was eminent domain. There was, oh, they ripped a white woman. And they come through and try to wipe us out. All these things that happened to us after slavery. And some of the things that happen now, like the brother, all these brothers getting lynched. And they saying, hey, they killed themselves. And they hanging themselves 15 feet in the air. That's what we're saying. We're owed Reparative justice. I miss my spot. Hold on. Blaming African people for selling you, but if <laughs> and people for selling been through to a point that even in the comments you're still blaming African people for selling you but if you paid attention to African history you would know that African people didn't sell their own people because they were dancing and they were like oh my god we're selling our own people this is such an amazing thing if you read how Europe underdeveloped Africa by Walter Rodney who is a Caribbean scholar you wouldn't be saying that to African people you would know that that is very much a wound to African people, but you don't care because. Ma'am, y'all sold us. And y'all didn't try to come and get us. And notice he's trying to use the, you don't care angle. You don't care. Fellas, 
Now, ladies, I'm, I'm, I'm not picking on you. I'm not picking at you. Don't just sound like a, a, a woman that's trying to gaslight you. You you check out, check on some nonsense. You hold her accountable with some of her BS. You don't care. You just, everything is you don't care. Trying to beat the drum, like trying to keep, you know, putting that point in your ear. Like you don't care. You don't care. You're not empathetic to me. You don't. You don't not care about my feelings. I'm just so hurt. Don't you want to care? Don't you want to care? Don't you? It's like ah. Just deal with you being accountable for your actions or being accountable for your inactions. That's all we're saying. Because the only pain that matters to you is your pain. And yet you think you're not a colonizer. This re Because we don't cape for y'all no more. Yeah, we worry about our pain. If you, if everybody get their arm cut off, everybody, let's say everybody's missing extremity. What's a finger, a thumb, a toe. We all missing something. I help you wrap your stuff up. I helped this other person wrap my stuff up, and it's time to wrap my stuff up. And I'm like, shoot, well, hey, you gonna help me? Man, okay, I, you know. So okay, and I wrap my my stuff up by myself, and something else happened to you. What you just showed me, you're not gonna help me, even if I help you. You're not. There's no reciprocity. There's no respect. So I'm like, ah, right, I'm cool. Hold your nuts to work because black Americans think that they are better than all other segments of black people all over the world. They think that they are in the top of the hierarchy. And this means that you can't really create community with people who think like this because they think that your struggles are inferior. So black Americans think that they are better than African people. And this is essentially my understanding from the thousands of comments that they have sent because they didn't like the fact that I, an African, call them colonizers. You know, at first I thought that the word might actually be harsh, but they themselves provided in writing the proof that that was the perfect word. The one thing that they've kept on reiterating is the fact that we don't think about you. It's never really worked because y'all never reciprocated. The only way you even got started is because of us. Y'all don't reciprocate. Y'all just meander about letting us do all the work. And we're tired of that. The, 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 here's what's going on. Foundation of Black Americans are tired of holding everyone else up. We letting y'all hold your own nuts. We've delineated. We've got you. We washed our hands. We've dusted our hands off. We say, look, man, hey, it's no personal issues with you. But we cool on holding everybody else up. Hold your own nuts and make it happen. We for the focus on us. And once you guys build up, we can come together mutually and make something work. But until then, hold your own nuts. Going to work because black Americans think that they are better than all other segments of black people all over the world. They think that they... We must be because y'all keep saying it. You know what? I, I've learned black family real quick. Let me level with you. When people keep telling you, oh, you think you this, you think you that, sometimes you got to be the bad guy and say, yep, I do. You keep saying it, so I must be. Because a lot of us, we just go around doing our thing, man. We just trying to make it happen. And we do make it happen. And because they see that, there's that disdain, that vitriol, that, uh, that contempt for us. Hey, we just making it do what it do, shorty. That's it. Let's say I'm making it do what it do, but you keep saying we think we're better. Well, get it. damn it, we're better. It's time. It's time to enter our villain arc. It's time to be the villains, black folk, and let everybody hold their own us. And when people come around, man, y'all, y'all, we need y'all help. Hey, 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 hey. I only we only help people that are helping themselves. So once you start helping you, we'll consider. Looking at the cape. We're not going to put it on, but we'll consider looking at it. All right? It's there. We'll think about it. And then we need to close the door. And go back to handling our business. They are in the top of the hierarchy. And this means that you can't really create community with people who think like this because they think that your struggles are inferior. So black Americans think... We don't think your, your, our struggles are inferior. <laughs> we don't think... Your struggles are inferior. That's just not our problem. That's just not our problem. We have our own struggles. We're not putting anybody else before us anymore. We're putting us before us 
and after us and around us and we handling foundational black American business. We're standing on lineage, family. Remember that. Be one.